Now, after learning about the data tables, bar charts, and two value or two variable graphs, let's talk about some other types of graphs. So, over here, we will learn about the combination of two or more charts. Other forms of representation of data may include some cases or castlets as well as the combination of two or more or above forms like we have bar charts and pie charts together. For example, in the given example, the bar chart shows the exports of leather goods from India for various years from 1986 to 1991. Now along with this the pie chart is also given which shows the share of different geographical zones in the world for the year 1990. Now you can see these two charts on the next slide. So like these are the two charts. Over here this is the bar chart which shows the export of leather good in rupees crores. Over here in this chart, along the x-axis, the years are given to you, while along the y-axis, the export of leather goods in rupees crores is given to you in each of those years. While this is the pie chart, which shows the export in year 1990 proportion of the zones, like a Middle East, East it's 22%, West Europe it's 33%, Africa it's 18%, US it's 12% and Far East it's 15%. Now we will analyze these two charts all together and we will answer the following questions. Now the very first question based upon these two charts is that what is the percentage increase in the export of leather goods from year 1986 to 1989. When you look at the bar table or the bar chart we find out that in year 1986 there was an export of 200 crores while the export in 1989 is 500 crores so we will simply subtract these two exports and then we will divide it finally by the export in the year 1986 that is 200 crores and times it by 100. So on solving this we simply get 300 over 200 times with 100. That makes your answer simply equals to 150%. So that means there was 150% increase in the export of leather goods from year 1986 to year 1989. So do remember the formula for the percentage increase. That is the increase in the value over the original value times with 100. Now let's look at the second question. It says that what is the total value of leather goods exported from India to Africa in year 1990? First of all, you look at the export in year 1990. It's around 400 crores. And over here, now look at the pie chart and see the contribution of region Africa. It's around 18%. So that means Africa contributes 18% of 400 crores. So simply we will find out 18% of number 400 crores. So over this, this gives us 0.18 times with 400, which on solving gives us 72. So our answer will be 72 crores. Hence it is simply second. Now the another type of question is that by what percent the export from India to West Europe is more than that to the Middle East in year 1990. Now we look at the pie chart simply and find out that the contribution of West Europe zone is 33% while for the Middle East it's 22%. So simply you subtract these two percentages we get 11%. Now you divide this by the 22% that is the 
export from the Middle East in year 1990 and now times it by 100. So when you solve this out you get your answer as 50%. So that means by 50% the export from India to West Europe is more than that to the Middle East in year 1990.